Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today I want to know who the F this is. Um, I saw people online talking about uh, that his name might be Codex. Uh, so I I think that's maybe true. Um, I think our friend Eddie's mullet was, he likes to look on eBay for, you know, variant covers and things like that. And I think he found it. And I think there was, it's like a KRS exclusive. And it might have, you know, when they posted like, or someone posted an image of it up on eBay for like a pre-order type thing, I guess it had that word on it, Codex. So a lot of people seem to think this character's name is Codex, which, you know, know that's cool that's a neat name obviously that's what you know carnage was after during absolute carnage so that ties into that so that would be a good name for this character uh to me he looks a little bit like the darkness from uh you know from top cow which i'm a big fan of that character and i used to work at top cow so yeah you know, that's what i saw when i first looked at this character i was like all right he looks like the darkness um and i think ryan segman said online that you know some people are drawing him with a face plate that just go over his mouth um as you'll see in some of the images i pop up here from the variant covers but uh, i think ryan segman said the mask is supposed to go all the way up kind of like in this image uh, which was just released today and there's a, a variant to it where you see the character without the mask and you see his face and uh, and I'm kind of wondering I have my theories on this I'm thinking this could be and we're gonna get into spoilers for uh, Venom 26 so I know I didn't talk about full full spoilers in that one but uh, we're gonna talk about one of them in this one which is the ending of Venom 26 so if you don't want to know any more spoilers or anything you know walk away now but uh, in that one it ended where you know Eddie and the maker or Eddie and Dylan went to one universe and the maker went back to his universe so his planned work his machine got damaged but he was able to get through before the shift or whatever so the maker is on his world the ultimate universe world and it's like in ravages you know it's been destroyed or something so um so that's where he is at right now but Eddie and Dylan went to what looks like the future and the future looks like it's been taken over by null as you'll see in the image here there's null symbols everywhere so it seems like maybe that's codex you know maybe it's related to codex so who is Codex? If that's just the, I'm just gonna assume that's the character's name. Um, and that you know, thanks to Eddie's mullet, you know, for for going in there and um, and you know, just being a, a person who likes to look on eBay for stuff. And you know, sometimes I guess you find cool things out on eBay when you're there trying to shop for stuff. So uh, so yeah, so you know, congrats, you know, congrats to Eddie for for finding that. Um, that's pretty awesome. It does look neat. This character it does look neat. And I'm my theory at least. I'll give you my theory real quick. Since they went to the future or a possible future. I should, you should always say in comic books when they go to a future, you always got to say it's a possible future for the most part. Um, uh, so anyway, so it looks like maybe, at least I think, that this character Codex is Dylan Brock. Uh, I'm like, you know, if you go to the future, maybe in that timeline or that, you know, alternate future um, where something could be possible to go wrong, maybe Dylan is kind of, in a way, seduced to the dark side. It's almost like Star Wars, right? So you have Eddie who's trying to Obi-Wan Dylan and, and, and find out what his powers are and maybe teach him to use them. And then you have, you know, Null who is like, no, nah, man, I'm coming in and I'm going to, you know, turn your son against you or whatever. So he's kind of like uh, the Emperor and uh, and uh, Darth Vader kind of mixed in the one. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, so I thought that was kind of, uh, you yeah, know, that's my theory anyway. It's like maybe they're in a future where Dylan has given in to Null and he's, you know, kind of his lieutenant on Earth and he's kind of helped overrun the planet and that's why the symbol's everywhere. And maybe that's a little bit why he looks, you know, kind of like Dylan in a way. Like, I mean, he's got dark hair in one image, another image he has blonde hair um, and it's like long, you know, so it's like, you can't really tell, you know, it's, you know, if he's a symbiote demigod, he could change his form. So it could be a couple different things, but that would be neat because then maybe when Eddie and him see each other, maybe uh, Codex looks at Eddie and goes, dad you know or something um and then i and i think i saw some people i think larry's comics over at my friend uh wes he does a, a show on youtube called thinking critical he thinks dylan is actually Noel's son and not really eddie's son and that these are like somehow fake memories you know implanted it's just, it's just Noel messing again with everyone's memories maybe messing with the memories of carl brock maybe carl brock doesn't actually remember mary uh you know brock you know his daughter and and maybe she wasn't actually retconned maybe it's just that family's you know the brock family's memories got screwed up or something um who knows like you know maybe ann wang's not really dead you know there's 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 so many things that could happen because of uh the the memory um altercations you know or the uh, the rearrangement of memories and stuff that uh, eddie's been going through maybe Maybe he's not the only one. Uh, so there's a chance that's what at least Larry's comics, uh, Larry at Larry's comics thinks is that maybe Dylan is somehow Noel's son. Uh, but that's how I kind of see it is like a surrogate son in a way. It's like, all right, he's a half human, half symbiote. So he's it's almost like a Nephilim, you know, angel and uh, angel and demon or angel and human kind of crossbreed. That's kind of what it feels like. It's like, oh, okay, it's just like a, it's a Nephilim in a way. So Dylan to me 
it, that's what he seems like. He seems like a Nephilim. And so he's like half and half, right? And so he could go one way or the other way. And that's kind of uh, the journey of the Nephilim is which side are they going to stay loyal to? Their, you know, their good side or their bad side or whatever. Um, so I don't know. So that's just my thought. I think this Codex person might actually be Dylan in a potential future because now that Eddie's in that potential future, um, you know, I think we're going to, you know, see that interaction. So it looks like Codex is going to make his uh, appearance in the next issue or two, maybe. I mean, he's on all the variant covers. So it's just crazy because we just got Virus. Um, and I know some of you guys did point out to me that Virus, uh, that apparently the symbiote, when I said in the last uh, review that it mentioned that it knew who Virus was, you guys informed me that it's because the free comic book day issue has come out and or was supposed to come out before Venom 26 and in that one it would I guess show the meeting of virus and um, and the symbiote so I guess that makes sense so uh, you know when that comes out I think it comes out next week or the week after I'll pick up a free copy of that and we'll talk about it here on the show and there's also another Venom comic that came out uh, during Absolute Carnage it was like an epilogue that some of you guys point out to me I jumped into Venom Island and I was like why is you know Eddie and uh, Dylan why are they at odds like I thought they ended Absolute Carnage on a positive note and then yet they seem to be on a little negative note you guys pointed out to me that I completely missed a review of a book called The Good Son and I think that was just because there was so much absolute carnage stuff coming out at the time I remember it like once I saw the cover I was like oh I do remember that and I, I chose not to review it for whatever reason um, so yes uh, I will have to do a review of that coming up at some point too so thank you guys this is why I like doing the show too is because you guys inform me of things so thanks for letting me know about the good son issue we'll get into that at some point soon um, and then th obviously thanks for letting me know about the free comic book day issue because that's going to help set up this story so all that, all that said now, uh, what do you think? Who do you think Codex is? Um, I've seen people have different theories. Some people thought it was going to be Null, like Venom Balor, our friend Randy. He was uh, online, and Ryan Softy. They were like theorizing maybe it was Null and stuff, and then Ryan Stegman came out and said, it's not Null. So we got that confirmation. Codex is not Null. Uh, so that's why I think, okay, well, if that's not a version of Null, then that must, to me, mean it could be Dylan. Because he just, when I'm looking at uh, all the potential suspects, I'm like, well, you know, Eddie and Dylan did go to a potential future at the end of the last issue so i'm thinking that's what they're gonna do is they're gonna meet a future dylan who made all the wrong choices and chose null over eddie and maybe this is a, an eye-opening moment for dylan so that way when they do face off against null he'll remember this moment he'll remember he'll he saw how bad earth got because of his choice with null and maybe that'll help him make the opposite choice something like that you know i'm not again i'm not trying to fully predict the story i'm just saying like uh it I feel like that could be a, a, a direction it might go in similar to that. Not exactly that, but maybe similar. But you guys let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And thank you again, Eddie's Mullet, and also um, Venom Balor and Ryan Softy on Twitter for tagging me in all these posts so I can get all these great images too. Uh, thank you guys so much. And Ryan Stegman for coming out and talking to the fans about it. And Devin Lewis and, and you know, and everyone who uh, commented. I think Donnie Cates might have uh, commented too. So thank you guys for interacting with all the fans who uh, you know are excited about this and who had questions. And good job not answering those questions. Uh, because obviously we don't really want spoilers. We just like having fun theorizing and speculating, but uh, obviously we want to see what happens when the story hits. So that'll be coming up soon. So yeah, I find myself a little excited. I got to say, you know, I'm glad I didn't just drop off completely after uh, a Venom Island, which I thought to me was a big letdown. And so was Absolute Carnage felt like a big letdown to me. Although there were good things in both stories, ultimately I was kind of let down, but I got to say the Venom Beyond idea, you know, going to the maker, going to the Ultimate Universe again, and, uh, you know, and then also a potential future where, where you know, uh, maybe a future Dylan has taken over the world. Those are kind of concepts that I like. Those are interesting to me. And so, and those could build good character moments. So I'm kind of curious what to see. And I always like seeing when villains get what they want. And so, you know, Maker wanted to go back to the Ultimate Universe and now he's back there. And is he the only one on it? Because after Secret Wars, you know, and Doctor Doom rewriting history and everything, Miles and everyone got sucked into the main Marvel Universe. So I'm curious where that's going to go. And I have a feeling that's going to be a story that Donnie's going to tell another time. And because I'm a big fan of the Ultimate Universe, I may actually follow Donnie into whatever book he writes that picks up those plot threads because I want to see uh, the Ultimate Universe come back in a way, uh, in a new way, hopefully. So uh, you guys let me know what you think of all that down below and let me know what you think of the Codex character. Uh, who do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.